And one thing that's really bothered me that I was wanting to get your insight on uh, is how, to me, it seems as though the church is equally as polarized uh, as the broader culture in the world today. You, if you go on to the various blogosphere of the Christian world, if you go on to Twitter and see the conversations among you know some of the, I guess, leading Christian thinkers right now, uh, there is as just as much polarization, alienation among Christians and the church uh, as in the world. We, we don't seem to have it any more together uh, on these issues. We don't seem to have a, a stronger unity or answer for these issues than the world does. And that really bothers me. And I wonder why. Uh, why is that? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think the church, what the church has done is they've adopted the ideas out of the world. And, and some people out of the world are saying, ignore race, just, you know, be colorblind. And so Christians have adopted that idea. Others are saying anti-racism is the way to go, adopt that. And some people are adopting that idea. And then we come to the church, and we are just as contentious as the rest of the world. What I think the church has not done is ask the hard question, what is about our Christian faith that would give us a different answer than we're seeing out the rest of the world? Or does our Christian faith give us a different answer? Is there something about our Christian faith that could give us insight that others are lacking? And we not ask those hard, sort of hard questions, and therefore we adopt the answers of the rest of the world, and that's we're just as polarized as the rest of the world. When we decide that we are going to really look towards elements of our faith to move forward in new, refreshing, novel ways, we will have something to offer the rest of the world. Until we do that, we ain't got anything to offer the rest of the world that they can't find themselves.